Today I am going to discuss about uh, Nicole's Prism. It is an essay question and polarization chapter. Um, actually, this device was invented by William Nicole in uh, 1828. It is an optical device which converts an ordinary and unpolarized light into a plain polarized light and it was a, an analyzer also. It was an analyzer also. So Nicole prism is based on the phenomenon of uh, double refraction. So this Nicole prism was made from a calcite crystal. Now. Let us discuss about uh, this uh, construction of this nickel prism. Now we have to consider a, a calcite crystal of uh, length three times than uh, its width and end of faces are uh, grounded and uh, the angle should be like this is 68 degrees and this is 112 degrees. Uh, instead of uh, 71 and uh, 109 but this is available in 71 and 109 now we have to grind it and uh, these faces to make this 68 degrees and uh, and this is called optic axis here now then if if an ordinary light enters into it then the light follows this path this is extraordinary ray and ordinary ray also follows this path but we have to eliminate this ordinary ray only ordinary ray then for we have to cut this diagonals like this cut this crystal along its diagonals this is uh, PR represents one uh, one face and the QS represents another face so I have to cut along P to S then uh, we have to grind it cut it first and uh, grind it that means the uh, cut into two pieces by plane perpendicular to the principal section this is called principal section uh, as well as uh, the end faces uh, PR and uh, QS the cut faces are grounded and polished optically these faces should be cut and uh, polished optically flat and then cemented together with Canada balsam with the uh, Canada balsam this is Canada balsam Canada balsam it is a gum to it is a transparent gum to paste to uh, optical materials transparent materials and uh, the refractive index of this Canada balsam is 1.55 here two rays are produced due to the polarization of light here one is ordinary and another one is this is ordinary ray another one is extraordinary ray here the refractive indexes indices are uh, mu o for an ordinary ray is 1.6584 which gives an ordinary light and mu e for extraordinary ray that is 1.4864 the refractive index is now we are cementing or pasting with Canada balsam which refractive index is intermediate of these two values that is 1.55 this is the construction of this nickel prism now here we have to eliminate an ordinary ray so whenever an ordinary light an unpolarized light enters into this crystal then generally we know it divides into two beams one is extraordinary ray another one is ordinary ray now we have to divert this ordinary ray into another path whenever we paste here Canada balsam then what happens here this ordinary ray incidents on this particular point with uh, around uh, 69 degrees 69 degrees which is greater than its critical angle here the refractive index of ordinary ray is 1.6584 the refractive index of the Canada balsam is 1.55 when compared to these two things this is this refractive index acts like a denser medium 
and this refractive index acts like a rarer medium whenever a light enters from denser medium to rarer medium then if this is i we know very well i then this will be r this is r this is a normal line away from the normal and this is the rarer medium at a critical angle at a particular angle the of i then this refracted beam stays at the interface of these two media this is denser media and rarer media whenever the angle is increased more than uh, critical angle then it comes back around uh, the critical angle will be around 50 plus i think the for this denser medium and rarer medium but rarer medium means this canada balsam and uh, ordinary ray then if this light incidents more than uh, 57 degrees then that is 69 degrees then it reflects back here this is the ray incidents at an angle at a particular angle which is greater than its critical angle then these type of rays follows this path that means then here this is extraordinary ray here extraordinary ray 1.4864 the refractive index and this is uh, uh, Canada balsam is 1.55 when we compare these two things then this medium acts like a denser medium and this medium acts like a rarer medium whenever a ray travels from rarer to denser then it slightly bends then it goes it follows this path then this uh, this ordinary ray but diverts or bends this path then we can get a pure polarized light here here in first first I told you it is used to produce a plane uh, polarizing light and uh, analyzer also so how do we know whether this is a plane polarized light or not then we have to put one more device here like this device then we have to put this type of device here and we have to rotate like this that means whenever we rotate this crystal this calcite crystal up to 90 degrees then the output beam will be becomes zero that is the testing method to analyze this polarized light then this is called polarizer which converts by taking input as ordinary light and output as an unpolarized light as input and it gives a polarized light as output but in case of analyzer if I place the same device here then it takes a pure polarized light into it and it gives the same polarized light whenever we rotate this crystal at a particular angle that means at a, exactly 90 degrees then the output beam becomes zero so this is the important question from polarization this is called uh, nichols prism only theory part we have to you have to remember these values do not forget don't forget here these uh, values and uh, the uses of uh, this nickel prism is uh, the nickel prism lines up one behind the other are used optical microscopes for studying optical properties of crystals this is, it is used to study the optical properties by putting these crystals here and rotating this and uh, we have to put a screen here we have to we have to put a sample like a crystal here and uh, rotate this crystal and place one screen here like this by rotating this crystal or clockwise or anti-clockwise and we have to observe the intensity output on this screen if the intensity is constant then we can we can estimate this 
properties of crystal if intensities are varying then also we can estimate this properties and uh, it is used to produce a pair plain polarized light and uh, then this is the these are the uses in further uh, questions uh, in uh, phase retardation plates phase retardation plates are uh, plane to circular polarized lights in this example we have to attach this output to one more crystal then we will be getting this plane polarized light into circular polarized light and uh, elliptical polarized light this is very important question uh, to prepare this question for examination thank you